All right, time for the camshaft. So I'm gonna wipe these off. Those are the journals. One last time. A little bit of oil. You know, not too much at this point, because we're gonna be putting RTV on uh, the other side of the thing, whatever you'll see. And I don't want oil on the surface over here. And we will get a chance to oil it up a bit more once uh, everything is installed. Nice. I'm gonna face the cam lobes down as much as I can. You can see how on this side these are kind of up and this one's up all the way. Same on this side over here. So I'm gonna just keep them down. This will make my, the rockers install a bit easier. Okay, I'm gonna do a bit more oil. I need to worry about this part now. Actually, I might as well. So you see this here? This is what I didn't want. It's extra oil here. Well, on the inside doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be cleaning, cleaning that again anyways. All right. Uh, I guess this is called the cylinder head deck. I don't know. Could be wrong. I probably am. So I'm gonna apply a three millimeter, more or less, bead of RTV in this groove. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue tiny bit here. The uh, instructions actually say just to fill in this groove. But then what about this part here? Here's the oil seal, but what's what's over here, you know? Here, here, and then from here to here. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm actually also trying to go on the edge, not just, you know, in the groove. So it's got to stick out. All right, happy with this. Now I'm going to take a little bit here and very little bit, kind of continue it on that flat surface and same over here. Once this is installed, you can actually wipe it off. It's going to come out where the oil seal will be and you can wipe it off. You want to watch out, you don't, you don't want this to be coming out here, because that's where the camshaft spins, and you, want, you don't want to block this in any way. Okay, so very tiny, tiniest amount on the flat surface. So now I can inspect it, make sure it's sticking out all around, should be good. Now, a bit of oil, just a drop. Cool. You can see our RTV came out in a few spots, like over here. Let me show you. I don't know if you're gonna see that, but came out a little bit there, and almost nothing over here. 
Maybe it will once it's torqued down. Now you can install all the bolts, but only these four outside ones, these guys here, get hand tightened right now. So snug these four, make them snug and then just these just lightly tight, whatever. I'm just going to give these four a bit more. Just a tiny bit. Leave those be. Okay, and then drop in the bigger ones. Now some of these are outside, some are inside, make sure the inside ones are clean. So I guess just two on the inside. So I actually have to wait one hour for the RTV to uh, dry, it up, dry up a bit and so it's, well, it is late, so 55 more minutes before I can torque all of these down. Meanwhile, I can work on this solenoid here. All right, so I do have a new one, which is already installed on the driver's side, but this one I am reusing. Before you put this back in, take out this filter carefully. Okay, this guy here. Because this one's actually pretty clean, but a lot of times when these go bad, sometimes this is just clogged. Okay, so just break clean. Break clean this and you're good to go. This actually seems pretty clean on the inside. Alright, so I actually could not find the torque specs for these 10 mil bolts, but they are just 10 mil bolts after all, so I'm just gonna do 7 foot pounds of torque. Notice again, even for this little thing, I'm not tightening one all the way, even if it's 7, just getting all of them snug. And then torquing it down. Now I suppose I can do this cap. This cap goes in dry. Actually, let me wipe off. Actually, no, I can't. I gotta torque it down. Never mind. Okay, these two get these sealable washers. Okay, so I gotta take these old ones out. And I got new ones in the gasket set. Well, I suppose now we can work on the on the rocker assembly. And now I can drop oil. Okay. Okay, so we're going to install the exhaust rockers first. So a little bit of oil on the valves. All right, clean those bolts. The golden looking ones go on the exhaust rocker assembly. And on the, the intake assembly, we got black ones, which are longer. Okay, now 
still got oil on the valves. Now this one, this one's a bit tricky. You got these pins. Ooh. Right over here. They gotta be pushed in. And one just fell out. See what I mean? Shove it right back in. Now there is no tension on these springs. As you can tell. There we go. Okay, so there's a pin here, here, and inside there. And there's a spring on this side. So these spring, pin, pin, pin. Spring, pin, pin, pin. In case uh, you're wondering. Okay, so this is good actually. See, if, the, if there was tension on these springs, then this whole thing would, you know, this would be sticking up. It wouldn't be so easy to put in. And I'm going to show you how to put these back on once this is bolted down. Again, clean bolts. I'm actually going to wipe that RTV off where the seals go before I forget. That's really it. I gotta wait for that RTV to dry up a bit and continue. Torque it down and continue. I cannot do anything else. I can clean up. Alright guys, so I did a few things. Cleaned up here and there. Installed the, uh, oil, the, the oil filler neck. And I still got to torque down this, this guy here, but mainly I cleaned up. So now it's time to torque those down. Okay, so we start with the torque ones. This is T40 and it goes E, F, G, H, I, J. Now the Ellen ones. Okay, these torque down to 7.2. It's gonna go straight to 7.2. Okay, L, M, N, O, P, Q, and QR and that is it oh yeah these two SNT also to 7.2 10 mil bolts did I say SL what did I say ST okay now the actual rocker assembly the 12 mil bolts all of them torque down to 18.4 and they go like this A B C D I don't have it yet set yet to 18.4 A B C D You know I have an idea I'm gonna move the engine closer to my computer screen It's the greatest idea I had so far today. All right, now I can see. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. That's it. Now I never took these two out, so they stay. Now I'm gonna set it to 18.4. Again. And then I and J. And these two torque down to 5.9, in case you're wondering. These two, 5.9. And these are these two are the last. Uh, then this one and this one. Now, using this little 
deep 5 mil socket, I'm going to take the spring, and you can see that nipple there, or whatever. Kind of push it away, and in it goes. Easy. No need for special tools. Done. All right, so now I can install the seals or check the valve clearance, either or. All right, I have a little bit of time. Let's install this cap. Okay, this, make sure it's clean. I'm just gonna push it in with my fingers. You know, get it started. And I can almost install it with my fingers. With a small rubber mallet. All the way. This goes in dry, guys. I know, I know, but still. Make sure it's nice and flush. You can grab a, a straight socket and kind of measure it. Just look for an equal distance. We're good. Guys, a little tip. Don't throw out your old gaskets, seals, o-rings, whatever. Put them aside so you can match if you got the right part and kind of keep track of what you got to install. So this guy gets oil inside and outside. Now luckily for me I have this socket. This is a one and a quarter. Where's my hammer? Now this socket is cool because I can tap it in all the way in. It would actually go inside the outside diameter of the cylinder head. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a day today. I'm going to continue with the valve clearance and adjusting them. I'm sure because I have to adjust every single one on the left head. And I'm sure I'm going to have to adjust every single one on the right head. So not much left. Actually, before I go, I'm going to drop some oil right on top of those uh, rocker here and those pins. All right. Whatever is touching and moving. And I already did drop oil on the valve stems, I guess they're called, right on top here. And make sure you know, when we will be measuring those clearances, you want to you wanna have oil there too, so the filler gauge won't scratch that too much. Okay. Alright, see you next time.